Alrighty, this week at Jaff, we got new Wednesday stuff. We'll go ahead and start at the toy wall. We've got new Miles Morales Spider-Man 2 action figures based on the upcoming PS5 game, some new Super Mario plushes, as well as this super cool uh, DC Funko advent calendar with a super funny Superman on it, as well as a Mickey and Minnie Mouse action figures with a lot of cool customization, which I didn't think they would ever have with those kind of figures. But now going to the new releases of the comic wall, we've got an ASM number 26 second print, as well as ASM 29. And this actually, this cover here is also for ASM number 29, but it's more of a Disney based cover. Also from a lot of the Marvel books, they have the Hellfire Gala covers which are coming out, which those are, I think are super sick. We've got issue 10 of Batman Incorporated and Batman and Scooby-Doo Mysteries. Going across, we have a new printing of DC Pride 2023. This new printing recently came out because it sold out way quicker than DC was expecting to and a lot of people wanted more, so we have second prints of that. As well in the Marvel Universe, they're mourning Kamala Khan as she recently passed away, I believe. So they've got a few different covers of that as well as this one here, which is an homage to when the first Captain Marvel died, which, you know, has death holding Miss Marvel. I think that's pretty cool, pretty cool. And then, of course, to going back over here, we've got Groot number three and Immortal X-Men 13, Hulk issue 181 with the Fast Meal edition. So they have a regular print and now they also have a foil printing of that. Hello. <laughs> they have a foil printing of that, so definitely don't want to miss out picking up on the foil. Of course, we've got a brand new wave of Night Terrors books, starting with DC's just Night Terrors, the overarching story. Number one, got a couple of cool covers for that. We've got Night Terrors for Flash, Green Lantern, Robin, Shazam, and then if we go all the way back over here, we've got Zatanna, and these, I think Zatanna actually has some of my favorite covers for hers. I think all her covers are relatively super solid. We've got Loki number two, the new Loki run going on. We've got a new addition to the Miles Morales Spider-Man run, as well as an enormous 25th issue run of the Moon Knight book. This is a super packed book. This is one of the biggest books that they've put out for the series, so definitely do not want to miss that. Going on along here, we've got some My Little Pony, Night of the Living Dead, Red Goblin number six, as well as this super hilarious and interesting Rick and Morty cover. Um, you know, do with that what you will. Rogue and Gambit, number five, Scarlet Witch, number six, as well as Spider-Man, number seven, with Spider-Boy on the cover. I've been reading a lot about Spider-Boy, and to be honest, he's one of my favorite characters they've introduced in Spider-Man's world in a while, so definitely cool to see more of him. This is a, sec or a third printing, actually, but this cover here just showcases Spider-Boy a lot more, which, hey, I'm totally all right with. Going over to the Star Wars section now, they actually have a new issue of Bounty Hunters and Darth Vader, but what's cool for both of these is they have two variations of the printing, kind of uh, referencing the retro comic style, if any of you remember how the older Star Wars comics used to look with the three characters on the front, so they kind of are, you know, mimicking that style on the variant covers, which I think is super dope. We've got another issue of Superman Lost. This series has been really, really good so far, so definitely looking forward to getting into another issue of that. We've got a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number 141. Raphael is looking sick on this cover, I can't lie, I really like this one. And I I can't tell if that's like supposed to be like Leatherhead or like Godzilla on this other variant cover, but you know what, we'll do with that what we will. As well as a TMNT annual titled Out of Time, which I mean I don't know much about that, but that looks just super sick. And we've also got this very interesting TMNT Stranger Things crossover. Talk about things coming out of nowhere. This is definitely one of the, one of those things. We've got another issue of Doom Patrol or Unstoppable Doom Patrol, which is the new Doom Patrol run for Dawn of DC, and the long-awaited Void Arrivals second printing with two new covers this time. So on this one here, we've got Jetfire standing in front of the Autobot sign, absolutely looking sick. And then the second one over here, we've got more of a cartoon-esque, comic-esque style with Cybertron Street up there. Both of these second prints are super dope. Super glad that they did these second prints with these new covers because yeah, Void Rivals is a upcoming new book in the Energon universe from Skybound, so definitely do not want to miss out on picking up one of these because these will be selling out fast. Then coming down here to the last thing, we've got Warlock Rebirth number four. 
This cover is actually pretty cool because it does reference as well the older, at least layout of the Marvel comics. You can see they've got the older logo up in the corner, even the old way of numbering them, which is just super dope. Over here we've got Web of Carnage, which I mean, you know, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> Web of yeah, these these covers for Web of Carnage are super dope. I haven't been um, keeping up with Carnage as much right now in the comics, but I know they're doing a lot of cool stuff with him. And I mean, just even on this cover alone, he looks super dope. We've got a What If Dark Loki, which, I mean, seeing him holding Mjolnir, that's definitely not something you see every day, so that's pretty cool. We've got Wildcats number 9, and as well, the start of a new World's Finest Teen Titans run, which is the return of the original Teen Titans team, and we've got a bunch of cool covers for that. Personally, I actually really prefer the A cover, I really like the art on this one, but we've also got this vintage hollow one here as well. And as you can see again, it's got all of the original members as listed up there. So super, super cool. Got X-Force number 42, as well as another facsimile, X-Men number 101, which is the first appearance of Jean Grey as the Phoenix. So that is super cool. And then we've also got X-Men Days of Future Past Doomsday. Now, if you remember, this is an X-Men movie, but I believe that this is a comic adaptation of the events that lead up to that. So, a bit different, but definitely something to look into if you love the X-Men, because I love the Days of Future Past story, so definitely want to pick this up if you like X-Men. As in, here are our trades for the week. We've got Rise of the TMNT, Complete Adventures, some ASM, some Spider-Woman, and this is the one last look at the entire wall. So, we hope to see you guys this Wednesday. We've got a lot of cool stuff to pick up. I know my polls are going to be absolutely crazy this week. So, yeah, make sure you guys come by. Thank you.